Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, in this video, I'm going to do something that I kind of promised myself I'd never do, but I see so many tutorials or people trying on the internet to, to play this fantastic old song, um, and I think they're doing it wrong uh, it, from a technical point of view, from a, from a finger-picking technique point of view. The song is Blackbird. Um, everybody at some point who's picked up a guitar will have had a go at playing this song, uh, and there's a, a fairly famous, I think it's fairly recent thing on the uh, uh, internet, you'll probably find it on YouTube, where Paul McCartney says to the crowd at one of his gigs, um, who can play Blackbird? And everybody shouts, yeah. And uh, he says, well, you're playing it wrong. Well, I think that this is the correct way to play it. And um, I'll put a card up in the corner of the video. Um, I've got a video uh, elsewhere on the channel that looks at a finger picking technique, which is a kind of a frailing technique. I call it a frailing technique, like a claw hammer banjo. This is the technique that Paul McCartney's talking about. So if you can perfect this, you can perfect Blackbird. Let's dive in. So I'll concentrate first on the picking hand. That's the that's where the main kind of magic happens with, with Blackbird. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, make a G chord shape um, well, I'm actually going to place my, let me show you. I'm actually going to just do a, you know, middle finger on the E string, third fret. Okay. The technique I'm going to show you is, I, Wilco Johnson used to describe his own technique as, uh, it's like riding a bike. It, it's quite easy to do, but very hard to describe. This is a bit similar. So the best way to do it is to kind of just show you and break it down. Um, I think that if you can perfect this, you've absolutely got Blackbird nailed. So let's uh, let's concentrate uh, mainly on the picking hand, but I'll I'll just split the screen now and just show you how I'm playing the thing through, at, you know, kind of normal speed. It's these two fingers and the thumb that are really doing the work. If you're looking for a chord in there, in that song, to use to sort of perfect that brushing up and down technique, that D7 chord is great because you're using um, just those three strings, the D, the G, and the B, and they're all side by side. So you don't have to worry too much about muting strings or anything like that. So. Thank you. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you got something out of it that you can use in your playing. So until next time, bye for now.